In this multiple choice question, I have the graphs of f of x and g of x as shown. What I want to do is know which one of these graphs is going to represent f of x divided by g of x, the rational function. So let's go back up to our original graphs and look at this in a little bit more detail. So I am looking for f of x divided by g of x. Now, remember when it comes to functions, we're really talking about y values. So when I'm looking at the ratio of f of x over g of x, x is staying the same. It's just the y values that are going to be divided. So the first thing that I look at is I'm dividing by g of x. So I want to look to see is g of x, the y value of g of x, ever equal to zero? And I see two points where that is the case. The x-intercepts of 4, 0 and negative 4, 0 have a y value of zero. So when those go into the denominator, I have a potential for division by zero. So I know that I'm going to have a vertical asymptote at x equal to 4 and negative 4. So if I come down here to my graphs, looking at these graphs here, I see that C and D do not have a vertical asymptote. So those can't be the options. Now A and B both have vertical asymptotes at negative 4 and at positive 4. So it could be either one of these options. The next difference that I see in these graphs is they have different y-intercepts. So I'm going to examine the y-intercepts in my original function to narrow it down to being either A or B. So back up here, again, it's the ratio of f of x over g of x. So I'm going to look at the y-intercept for f of x right here. That has a value of 2 divided by the y-intercept for g of x, which has a value of 4. 2 over 4 is a half. So I know that my rational function will have a y-intercept of a half. So going down here, I can see that it would not be option A. It must be option B. So the answer to number 14 is B.